we're looking forward to this one, Rene. Two big heavyweights, got AJ and Big Dog Carter on the left of your screen in the black shorts versus the Ugandan heavyweight champion. Heavyweight champion won it in the last bout of a TKO. Now Kenneth Odeki on the right of your screen now in the red shorts either wins by knockout or gets knocked out. It brings a record of four wins, all four by knockout, and one loss by knockout as well. AJ Carter comes into this bout with six wins, four by KO, so I think this could be explosive. Yes. Only four rounds, but it could be the, the one that lands, could be the, the one that, that goes home. Well, AJ's coming there, he's um, getting his way in there to get the big shots off. Good right hand there for Odeki, and the, the size difference straight away, Carter looks like he's got the more solid, stockier frame, but no. Odeki's the long rangier fighter, and Carter's trying to use the rolls into very tight and light, but Odeki gets in with a, a jab and a right uppercut there, just seems to recall the chin of Carter there. We knew this one was going to be good, nice jab from Odeki there. A wild right uppercut, then he took the lights down there, but able a right hand from Carter there. Odeki just hanging on. I don't know what the Ugandan heavyweight scene is like, Rene. This is it. You don't, you don't know, so it could be quite raw when AJ just learned something. But he's still got five crucial to win. Only fifth, I think he said 15 stone, didn't he? The heavyweight, the Odeki. I mean, that's, that's the right for a heavyweight right. in terms of how big he is as well. And that would perhaps be the worry with regards to the solid look of Carter. And like you said earlier, Carter's um, a short, stocky build, quite thick set, and he looks like he carries that bit of power quite well. A little bit interesting to say, mix of styles. Carter looking to try and get under roll into his shots, and obviously Odeki trying to look to measure the long loop shot. And he's got really long arms, Odeki. You can see there as the referee's talking to him how long his arms are there. And he should be throwing a more solid jab for someone with that build and keep him at bay. Throw right hand straight down the middle. Maybe just relies on that right hand too much because like you say, he's not throwing that jab out with much thing. But every time he gets hit, he looks a little bit worried, Odeki, doesn't he? He looks a little bit... No, he's, he's he gets a caught by left there and a wild right from Carter. Odeki's guard's a bit loose. Carter could uh, throw a left hook and then right pass his, his uh, defence, you know? So he almost looks a little bit, not frightened, but looks a little bit panicky as the shots are thrown there from Odeki. He obviously doesn't want to get caught by many. Nice jab there from Carter. He's tying up well Odeki in close and that's only what Carter's going to do. He's going to get frustrated. He's going to try and get close, isn't he? And every time he gets close, Odeki's going to try and get hold of him and try and stop him from working on the inside. It's an interesting fight for Carter to, to try and unlock in his seventh bout today. And it's a good testing fight for Carter. Two jabs there from Odeki just getting through and a right hand from Carter. I like to see two big guys go there. And a nice right hand there from Odeki. Carter seems to have taken it well. Just moving away at the time. Good opening down so far, Mena. It is a good opening round. Odeki needs to be careful though, and not drop his hands. We're in all weight categories, but even more so at heavyweight. When you've got 15, 16, 17 stone guys throwing lever at you, you've got to be really careful. They're not massive gloves either. You don't want to get caught too many. And I think that's why people like heavyweight boxing. He's all over the place then. So round two, interesting round there. It's hard to score that, but Carter seems to be a little bit all over the place into that round there. Looks, it still looks a little bit unsteady. I don't quite know what happened there, man. Did you see it? Just at the end of the round there, Carter just seemed a bit unsteady. He did seem unsteady. I'm not sure what it was. I didn't see it. How did you score that first round? I was saying AJ Carter won that round. But he did look unsteady on his feet as he went away. And be interesting to see if his head's cleared in that, in that minute. I don't know if it was from a jab, it looked like a stiff jab right at the end there that, that, that caught him. And we did say he's a bit of a puncher, he's a bit wobbled there, and, and he's dropped again. That's a heavy knockdown by Carter, and he's out cold here, and the referee shouldn't be counting here. It should be just getting medical assistance in, and it was a heavy hand, and he's all over the place. And we did say that he's a bit of a puncher, Odeki, and not nice scenes here from Carter, he's all over the Yeah, I hope Carter's alright there. There's been some trouble breaking out of the side here as well. Right, so I hope Carter, first of all, 
regardless of the crowd trouble, we just hope Carter's okay because there was a heavy, heavy knockdown there from Carter there, Rene. It was like Odeki played him um, in the first round and just, he was just measuring him and finding out his power and then he started to throw a stiff jab and come from the right hand. We did say it in that first round, Carter seemed to be hurt in that first round from something and he got caught with a couple of shots, wobbled, Odeki went in for the, the kill and, and caught him with uh, two shots and Carter went down heavy and the referee was counting him but it was clear to see at that time that Carter wasn't going to get up and obviously he's still trying to get up here which is fair to see, they got up to do and that's good to see there, but Carter seems to be okay. Good to see that part is okay. Yeah, good to see he's up on his feet. It was a heavy knockdown. Hope he's okay. Oh, Dickie's friend didn't look like he could hit that hard, but he's a strong Well, we mentioned player. before about 15 stone. You know, he looked quite, his frame doesn't look like he hit, but he can clearly bang. That's five wins now, five by knockout. However, it does look like he can be hit as well, so it's... Uh, it. But he did tighten up his guard slightly in the second round and towards the end of the first round as well. Yeah, obviously the end of the first round, we'd have to sit, we don't get the luxury of replays here unfortunately, but obviously he was hurt at the end of the first round and then obviously got capitalised midway through the second round. So first of all, just hope that AJ Carter's on. Good to see the paramedics in there straight away. Yeah, it was only quite quick to see. So he seems to try to get up Carter and then kind of fell down again. And that's obviously the pride of a fighter, isn't it? Always want to get up after you, you've been knocked down. And, and so first and foremost, we hope he's okay. The crowd trouble seems to be sorted out. Obviously just one of the fans a bit upset because it was a heavy knockdown from Carter. But he seems to be okay. He seems to be looking and talking back to the paramedics on the stall. And, when all said and done, man, this is a sport and we hope that everyone comes out. Most definitely, most definitely. It's never good to see scenes like this when someone's been hurt like that either. No, absolutely. We need to see AJ Carter standing on his feet. Good to see that they're both holding something like that at the end as well too. He can come again from this car, so he's 6-1 now, you know, he's been building nicely. 